gonna walk away. Go and walk away, cause I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Hey, what's up? You guys are doing good? Uh, yeah, today is a Photoshop day. It's a video about how I do my stencils. I had a lot of comments on my last video about it. So let's jump right into this. All right, let's say you have this handsome Denzel Washington portrait to tattoo. The first thing I wanna do is to make my picture look good. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I normally go to image, brightness and contrast. I add a little bit of contrast and brightness so my picture looks sharp enough. I'm gonna go after that to saturation. I'm gonna add a little bit of color to it so it looks more alive. It's just gonna be a better portrait to tattoo. See, this is the before and the after. The image looks way better. I highly recommend you guys save the picture because if you mess it up or if you do a mistake, you can always go back in and you don't want to lose all the work you just put in. All right, this is where the magic happened. To apply the stencil filter, you go to image, mode, grayscale. It's gonna flatten your picture. It's all gonna be black and white. After that, you go to filter, filter gallery. You have the different folders here. You click on sketch and go to photocopy. You can adjust the, the amount of detail that you want and you can also adjust the darkness. Try the different settings that you like. When there's too much details on a portrait, it gets very complicated to not get lost into the picture. See the difference if I add a lot of details. To me, it looks good, it's doable. Maybe a little bit too much black. For this one, I would need a little bit more details. Let's leave it around the middle. I normally leave the darkness at 50, so it's very dark and crisp. And click OK, then we're good to go. This is how the stencil looks like. The only thing now, see around the neck, the details are really, really light. What I would do is to grab my burn tool. I'm gonna go select the mid-tones, 100%, and I'm just gonna go paint the area I need to make darker so everything would be ready to go through the thermal machine. When everything is done, file, print, you print the size that you need, and you're good to go. So now, how to read the stencil? It's actually really, really easy. Each change of values are a black mark. Each black mark belongs to a darker area. See the black line here? It's gonna belong to the background. As you can see on that picture here, it's all gonna be hidden into that brown background. Same thing for the line of the jaw here. The jacket is darker than the face, so the black mark belongs to the jacket. You're gonna put all your grays on top of it. Same thing here for the chin. The shadows are going up. The black mark are gonna follow the shadows. The jacket is darker than the neck, so the black mark are gonna be a part of the jacket. As long as you remember, the black marks belongs to a darker area, you'll be good. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. I hope it's gonna be useful for some of you. If you have any question, feel free to just comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Uh, this space here is my new apartment with Arian. This is gonna be the space where I'm gonna do all the recording videos and everything. It's just gonna be easier for me to have a space at home to work. I do this so we stay all inspired all together. I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe, like, comment, share, all of it. I'm gonna see you at the next one. Thank you.